While you can automatically add most bank and credit card accounts to your chart of accounts when you connect them to online banking, there are some accounts that you'll need to add manually, like loans and fixed assets. Let's go over how to manually add an account to your chart of accounts and why the opening balance is so important. Then we'll go over how to add multiple accounts at the same time. Let's create a new account. Go to Settings and select Chart of Accounts. Then select New. Then enter a name for the account and a number if you use account numbers. Next, select the type of account you want to set up. Account types identify where the account appears on financial statements. Account types from the top of the list down to Owner's Equity appear on the balance sheet. The account types from Income to Other Expense appear on the Profit and Loss Statement. Check out this video to learn more about account types and how QuickBooks builds your financial statements. For this example, we'll set up a Cash and Cash Equivalence account. The Detail type provides more info about what the account tracks for your business. We're setting up a Transaction account. Next, if you're setting up a balance sheet account, pick a starting point for the account and enter it in the As a field. Most businesses choose to start tracking accounts from the beginning of the year. That way QuickBooks matches your bank records from the start. Note that this is only necessary for accounts you set up yourself. When you connect a bank or credit card account to online banking, QuickBooks handles all of this for you. Then enter the amount of money you had in your real-life bank account on that day. In QuickBooks, this is called an opening balance. The best way to find this is on your bank or credit card statement. This number is very important. It becomes the account's starting point and will help ensure your QuickBooks records match your bank's records. You can enter your own notes about the account in the description field. When you're done, select Save. Now you're ready to start recording new payments and deposits that happened after the starting date you chose. You don't need to enter anything that cleared the bank before that date. If you decide later on to add transactions before the as of date, we recommend working with your accountant. Remember, all of your old transactions were summarized in the opening balance. If you add them now without adjusting the opening balance, you'll count your money twice. If you have several accounts to add, you can speed up the process by uploading a spreadsheet with the account info. To do that, go to Settings and select Import Data. Then select Chart of Accounts and select Import. Attach the spreadsheet and select Next. Then map the fields in your spreadsheet with the fields in QuickBooks. Once you've got everything set up, select Next. You can make any final changes here. When you're done, select Import. Note that when you import accounts, you can't bring in their opening balances. You'll need to add those after. But make sure you do, as the opening balances are very important. Note that if you use QuickBooks Online Accountant, you can also use Chart of Accounts templates to quickly set up a client's chart of accounts. Now you're ready to set up your accounts one by one or in a batch.